And I want to say thank you for joining us. Those of you who are on Facebook, I want to thank you for joining us. This is Righteous Foundation International Ministry. Yes. We're under direction and leadership of our very own Apostle Manny Wooten. We thank God for the man of God. Along with his wife, Pastor Prophetess Beverly Wooten. Yes, put your hands together. We thank God for our leaders. Praise God. They took a time of respite. They were gone last week, and we're glad that they're back. Because every time they leave, they come back with something new. And God is speaking to their ears, and we're excited to hear what God is saying to them for us. They go to seek God, not just to rest, but to hear from God for us. So I thank God for thank leaders God. like that that's a concern about yes. my soul. Amen? Yes. So we thank you for joining. Before we get started or move forward, I do want to do some small housekeeping. Um, if you'd like to give at this time, we always give you that option to give. And we thank those of you who have been giving and blessing our ministry and have become a part of our ministry. But those of you who are new to our Facebook page, we ask that you go to Cash App, dollar sign RFIM3. You can give by um, Cash App. If not, you can go just to our website, um, www.rfimi.org, and you can just press our donation button, and it'll give you options on how to give. And it's also a ministry there. It's our outreach ministry. If you would like to sow a seed, we help the homeless, and we've been doing some great things in the city of Orlando. Also by mail, it's P.O. Box 4125, and we're located here in Apopka, Florida, 32704. So we want to just take the time for those of you who are giving. We thank you, and, and let me stop and just bless your seed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just take the time to say thank you. Thank you for those who have chosen to give and those who have been given. We bless their seed that it would come forth a hundredfold, God. We ask, God, that you would do what they have spoken into that seed to do, God. We trust your word that if they give, it shall be given, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall man give unto their bosom? God, you will cause man to give what they need, God. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. And we're excited. I told you our apostle has been gone. So he's back here today. And we thank God. And he's going to be our speaker for this hour. But before he comes, we just want to give God some more praise. Because God is worthy. Yes, he is. He is worthy of the yes. honor. Yes. He is worthy yes. of the praise. And he is worthy. He yes. is just worthy. I don't know about you. Yes. But I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I stop and think about folks who just don't serve him. I don't understand why I didn't serve him when I knew better to serve him. But being in this place, being in this place to be able to worship somebody who provides your needs, being in a place to be able to worship somebody who will heal you, I don't care what disease it is, he has the power and the authority to heal. We give God the honor yes. and the glory in this house today, and we thank God for him and what all that he has done. But so I don't prolong the service our apostle has entered into the house, and we thank God for his presence. So we ask those of you that's inside the sanctuary to put your hands together, not for just the man of God. But we honor, we honor the anointing that's over his life. Praise God. There is a true apostolic anointing over his life, and we thank God for that anointing. So without further ado, I bring forth to this sacred desk our very own Apostle Manny Wooten. I said, no, I want a covering over you. All right. We ready now? Yeah, there we go. Hallelujah. 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 We give God the glory. 
the honor and the praise. I thank you for all the shout outs last week. Amen. For the 58th birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> God advanced me two years. <laughs> yes, no. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Wow. Only a supernatural God can do that. <laughs> it is so wonderful to be back. I tell you, I missed y'all. I, I didn't know I was going to miss y'all, but I, once I woke up, I missed y'all. Yes. I really didn't know how tired I was, but I slept for almost 18 hours. Ooh. Wow. And my wife didn't bother me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I needed that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, God needed that so he could talk to me. Yeah. And boy, did he get me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to obey God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I won't. I have a reader. I want him to read. I want him to read something. Matthews. And every time you come in the house of God, we want to recite this. Matthew 6, start at the 13th verse. It is our Father. Amen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got it, man of God? Matthew 6 and 9. Go ahead, you start wherever you want to start. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hold on. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in your life. Go ahead, man of God. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. All right, y'all may be seated. We want to give God honor by reciting his prayer. Not ours. The problem is, is I, I feel God told me, he said, we've gotten so caught up in our own thing that we forget the basics of what he left us. He is a supernatural God. In the name of my Father God, before I go forth, I honor you. I surrender myself to you. I bow down before you. I obey you, I speak what you say, nothing from myself, but all from you, in the name of Jesus, because you are the great I am, the creator of every living thing, the creator of the universe. We give you glory, we give you honor, because you are my Abba Father, my who art in heaven. You are my hallowed be thy name, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for life and for strength in Jesus name. Amen. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. We want to talk to you this morning of a little nugget. I have a lot of stuff written but I may not even get to it. God may shift me because I listen to what he's saying. Sometimes what I want to say is not what he wants to say. So I'm a guy, I'm a I'm a an apostle that have submitted himself to speak what God says, not what I say. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes the world disagree with it. Because it's not an emotional conversation when it comes from God. It's a holy thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want to talk to you about living in the realm. Of the supernatural. Ah, <laughs> yeah, mm. living in the realm of the supernatural. If I take that word, I say living in the kingdom 
of the supernatural. <laughs> you have to understand that we have to live with Jesus. We got to live. People say we got to live this thing. It ain't no thing. It's a lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> you got to live this lifestyle. We got to watch what we say. There's an old saying that says, sticks and stone may break my bone, but words will never harm me. That's a lie. Yep, that was a lie when you came out here or something. That's a lie. <laughs> the problem is, is that we want to do our thing and not God's thing. If I would say to you of what's going on is that God warned us with a wave. I don't want to use the word pandemic, but the wave of the plague. And we didn't listen. We didn't take heed. So now he's turned up the fire, the furnace, and made this one a little more contagious than the last one. You have people living in their own dimension, are living in their own world, and they don't want to listen to God. God is upset. God is, we can turn this thing if we get on our knees and come together as one. Yes. But we will not turn it dependent on your government. God wants you to depend on him. We depend on the government. They got a moratorium that's about to expire. It's been all over television. What's going to happen? But the supernatural God can stop all that. God is so awesome. He created the heaven and the earth, and he didn't need no help. No, no, no. Hallelujah. I'm just talking to y'all a little bit. I ain't even got to the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 There's somebody in here today. I know who you are, but I'm just going to say somebody. That God wants you to trust him. He wants you to totally believe that he's a supernatural God. Because he wants to open something up for you. And he wants to give it to you immediately. But he can't do it if you don't trust him as a supernatural God. You got to have the faith that he's a supernatural God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> ah! Who are you? Don't stand up. It's good to have you back in the fold. You got it? You got it? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Living in the realm of a supernatural God. Or we can say operating in the realm of a supernatural God. Okay, turn with me to uh, let's go to 2 Peter, Peter 1 to 19. I had to see which one God wanted to do. Hmm. <laughs> Let me give you a little background on the realm of the supernatural God. The supernatural realm is where God reveals to us what happens behind the physical realm. The supernatural realm is where God reveals to us what happens behind the physical realm. The realm of the supernatural is the realm beyond science, beyond government. Science don't understand it. Government doesn't understand it. State doesn't understand it because it is in the realm of the supernatural God. The supernatural God is beyond human expectation. Man don't understand it. The doctor will tell you, I've done all I can do. 
Now it's time for the supernatural God to step in and take over. Amen. The judge will tell you, I, I don't want to do this and I don't understand why I'm doing this, but the supernatural God has intervened. Yeah. And it doesn't happen the way it's supposed to happen. It, the way it happens the way God has anointed it to happen. Yeah. But you got to have faith. You got to have trust. You got to have belief. You got to know who you are. You got to know whose you are. You got to believe in God. You got to trust in God. You got to know that he is the supernatural God. Sometimes the supernatural God takes you into a realm of where all hell breaks loose. And you don't understand. You believe that you were serving God with all your might. You were doing what the scriptures say. You were doing this. And you don't understand. A lot of people say that supernatural God has forsaken me. There's somebody that's watching today that's looking and saying, I can't stand God because he didn't save somebody that I wanted him to save. It doesn't mean he's still not the supernatural God. Huh? He, he is that I am, that I am, that I am. He's the God of all power. Uh, I, I didn't want to say this. I, I, I didn't want to say this, not it, but the supernatural God told me to instruct, I'm telling you, instruct you that he sees, that he's in charge. That he got it all in his hands. Do not interfere with what I'm about to do. The supernatural God said, I am enjoying the belief and the trust you have in me. So I'm elevating you from where you're at to another dimension. And the dimension that I'm elevating you to the enemy is bringing unforeseen things, but I'm still the supernatural God. I'll warn you. And when I warn you, listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to, I want to, uh, 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 uh. let me, okay, God, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, God. I hear you. 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 Go to Ezekiel. Go to Ezekiel 28. Go to Ezekiel 28. I, 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 you know, I had that written down. I, uh, 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 we, whole Peter and I, we got to come back there. But, 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 but we want to go to Ezekiel. I want to show you something. Why people begin and get away from the supernatural God. Because the enemy can work miracles. The enemy can give you the desires of some of the things that you desire. Mm -hmm. And you say, God is blessing you. If you say then God ain't blessing you, I want you to catch it, Anthony. You know, when I, you know, I'm a, I'm a star, I said, you know. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right. Ezekiel 28 and 1. Yeah, start at 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thou sayest the Lord God. Hold on. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyrus. Thus said the Lord God. God gave me this sitting out on the balcony. I said, what in the world is this, Lord? Why are you giving me stuff like this? <laughs> he said, because I can trust you <laughs> to speak my word. I questioned God last weekend. I told my wife coming back, I didn't tell y'all what I told her. But I said, but I want to obey God. 
I'm afraid to disappoint God. My human is just flustered and discouraged, but my godly spirit wants to obey God. So my godly spirit overpowers my humanness because I desire to please the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the great I am, the Adonai, the Jehovah. That is my desire, is to please him before I leave this earth. My desire is not what, what I want to do, even though it, it, it's a tug of war of apostle wanting to be this and wanting to do that, but I trust God to overpower my humanness. Did that go over? Okay. <laughs> now, I want y'all to catch this. Because your heart is what? Proud. And you have said, I am a God. Huh? Preachers, you hear me? You hear me, preachers? Because you are proud and your heart have said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of the gods, in the heart of the sea. Yet, you are but a man. You are not a God. You are but a man. You are not a God. You are but a man. You are not a God. Stop making men and women God. Let me say that in a low tone. You are but a man. You are not a God. You know some things. But you're not a God. All right. Okay. <laughs> Though you make your heart like the heart of a God of, of God, and you are indeed wiser than Daniel. Now that got to be a wild guy who wilder than Daniel. Huh? <laughs> no secret is hidden from you. <laughs> By your wisdom and your understanding, you have made wealth for yourself, and you gather gold and silver into your treasures. By your wisdom in your trade, you have increased your wealth. But you're not a God. Take it right there. Yeah. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, mm -hmm. and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God. Hold on. Therefore, now the supernatural God speaks. Therefore, because thou have set the heart, God didn't set your heart, you set it there. God didn't put you there, you put you there. Jesus. You taking the place of trying to take the place of who God is, but you are not a God. Keep on reading. Behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. Uh, wait a minute. I'm going to bring foreigners. I'm going to bring strangers. I'm going to bring somebody among you. And they're going to draw their soul against your wisdom. All that you have. Let me pray. It's about to disappear. Because you put everything you had before me. You forgot that I'm the creator of the universe. You forgot that I created every living thing. You forgot that I'm the one that gives you the wisdom to get wealth. You forgot that I'm the one that healed thee. You think you are a God because of your wisdom, because you can preach great, because you can teach great, because you can prophesy, because you ain't got your PhD. You think you're a God? I'm being who I am. 
And my job as the apostolic, as an apostle, is to provoke you to change your life and line up with God. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me tell them now. And they shall defile <laughs> thy brightness. Mm -hmm. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the sea. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me, he said, they, that means God going to send someone yeah. to bring you down okay. to where? To the pit. To the, pit. To the pit. Yeah, say to the pit. You up there. You got everything. You walk on the on the lot and collect and command. I want that Maserati. I want that Bentley. <laughs> because of your wealth and your wisdom. But you are not a God. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna send them to bring you down mm -hmm. to the pits mm -hmm. because I'm tired of you. Thou shalt have no other God before me. I am the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings. I am Jehovah Jireh. I will provide for you. Read, 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 read. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God. But thou shalt be a man and know God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. Oh, okay. Mm. Let me just say, you shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of foreigners. For I have spoken, declared who? The Lord. I'm sick of you. That's basically what he said, I'm sick of you. I don't allow you time after time after time after time to change. But you choose not to change because of your wisdom, because of your knowledge, because you think that you can out prophesy somebody. Oh, I had something pop on this morning, and I was looking at it, and it had 1.3 million viewers, and it had about a thousand comments. She was prophesying houses and land, and prophesying this, and prophesying that. And everybody, I receive it. I receive it. You better receive Jesus. Mm -hmm. You prophets in here, don't prophesy from your emotion. Don't prophesy to get amen. Prophesy to glorify God. Amen. Prophesy to please God. Yeah. Prophesy to clean, to, to change the kingdom of God. Yeah. To prophesy that the world may be changed. Prophesy that people shall be delivered, that people shall be healed. Yes, amen. Prophesy that those who love God will receive the desires of their heart. Yes, amen. Prophesy that. Yes, amen. I ain't prophesying to you. I see. No, Let me read that. No, tell the truth. Go on in. Go on in. I, I mean, man of God, read, 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 read. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Take up lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the slum, the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was a covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the <laughs> sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold, the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day thou was created. Isn't that right? Mm. Woman of God, man of God, did you see what it stood up here? Mm -hmm. I mean, the sapphire, the gold. When did I tell you I checked out gold? Mm -hmm. You better not get no 24 karat gold. Put around your neck on that shoe at five hundred dollars. Well, God ain't talking about twenty-four carat. God talking about one hundred percent. That's pure, pure gold. Pure gold. In the eyes of God, you are as pure gold. In the eyes of God, you as uh, pure sapphire. You're special. They talk about a blue stone. In the eyes of God, you're the apple of His eye. You're the blue stone. 
you are you 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 are his glory. Ah. Let, 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 let me get it. Go back to 2 Peter 1. Now, uh, now, now we're going to get there. In the supernatural God, uh, before we get in the supernatural God, there's breakthrough. Yeah. In the supernatural God, there's turnaround in everything. In the supernatural God, there's provision. Yeah. In the supernatural yeah. God, there's expectation. Yeah. In the supernatural yeah. God, there's abundance. In the supernatural God, there's movement. In the supernatural God, there's alteration on your behalf. Yes. In the supernatural God, there's expectation. Yes. In the supernatural God, yes. everything you need is in the supernatural God. Yes. Go, civil. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You got it. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 You cannot function mm -hmm. and receive what the supernatural God has for you until you trust and believe in him as your supernatural God. Amen. You got to forget about your situation. <laughs> Peter later. You got to forget about that even though it's there. And you got to say that I trust in the supernatural God. That I believe in the supernatural God. That whatever you are going to do, I'm going to rest in you. And stop trying to speed it up. And stop trying to do you. And step back and obey God. I heard you say what was about to happen. That's one way that's one obedience to God. The slowfulness is gone. I said to God on the water, I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to get back in here. Can I just let God talk? I said to God on the water, God, why don't you get one of these big preachers? Prophets that everybody follow, that everybody look at, and tell them to do what you're telling me to do. I'm just a nobody. They ain't gonna listen to me. God said, Stop your whining. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Oh, no. Are you gonna obey me or not? Amen. I know you don't want to do it, but if you're going to obey me, I said, God, can I, can I tell you what I told God? Yeah. I said, God, leave me alone. Oh, no. <laughs> he said, but if I leave you alone, in a short time, you'll be in the grave. Yeah, yeah. Because right. you are operating yeah. from your disobedience. Yeah. But you're going to obey me because I'm sick of people leading my people astray. Yeah. I'm sick of apostles. I'm sick of doctors. I'm sick. I'm sick of pastors. I'm sick of evangelists. I'm sick of teachers teaching out of their emotions, teaching to get benefit for themselves. I want my glory back. trust you to get my glory back. People are hearing you that you don't even know. They are hearing you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a trick of the enemy. And I hope you're listening. Uh -oh. <laughs> One of God text me something. Bam! Thank God for the sister. Boy, she protects her apostle. I tell you, because they send me some crazy stuff. She did it. Bam! Uh, women send some crazy stuff, and my wife standing right there with me. We stand both standing right, right there, grinning. They still send crazy stuff. She said, "Bam, bam, bam!" Okay. Delete. I, I don't ever see it. Okay. 
Because God be the glory. God be the glory for the power and the authority that she is walking in. Her power and authority is to protect the integrity and the character of the apostle. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So she texted me this thing. The young man who sent me some stuff. Sent me a phone number, so I called him up. Bang. He'll be out. Don't bother me. He got on the phone. I don't want, if you're looking, I don't want to lie on you. You might click off, but if you're looking, there's about chance. He sent me, he got on the phone, and he started to go. I said, hello, this is Apostle Wu. Bam! He ran off at least five minutes. Hmm. Of what this and what that. And what this and about that. And about this and about that. Now here go the wisdom of God. Bam! Can you cash out me? Thank you for 50 bucks. Uh -uh. Mm. I said, my, my friend, my brother, I prayed for you. I prayed for him. He was amen before I could get it out. Okay. I said, I don't have a cash app. I don't know how to work at it. I'm old school. So he texted me his cash app. Mm. He, he all caught what I had to do? Yeah. Don't have it. Text me. He said, well, I know somebody in the church do it. I said, yeah. I ain't even bother y'all. He had myself. I got at least 12 messages from him. Now, here's the wisdom of God. Here's how God will cause you to mess your own corn ice. To mess your own self up. <laughs> Text me a picture of him and his wife. Beautiful wife. Said he'd been incarcerated for 16 years and that he got out six months ago. His sister was in the last stage of cancer. She had uh, uh, Medicare and Medicaid and they refused to do anything. I don't, I don't know how to figure that was going to help, but you know what I'm saying? But, but, but they refused to do anything, but he took me a picture. Bam! She, been in, she, she was with the sheriff's department for 35 years. Now, wait a minute. You don't retire, or you still working for the sheriff's department. Now, from my understanding, when they retire, they still got pretty decent benefits. Yes, 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 yes. And if they're still working, they got still got good yes, benefits. Yes, yes, yes. So how did Medicare and Medicaid get in there? See? Yep. Because it's going on. <laughs> Come on. That wasn't in. Let me show you how the enemy will work on you. I don't care if you don't understand about your status. Go work on yourself. Oh, the kids are crying. The kids, they don't, they don't know what to do. Now, you just told me kids 15, 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Kids, you know, they don't know what to do. Forgot they're crying, they're they doing this, they're doing that. The kids are off the chain. So finally I said, you know, I don't handle stuff like that. I got some attorneys that handle that. I ain't heard nothing else. I know you did. <laughs> Amen. I know you did. Now, here's my point. The human of me felt like doing it. Actually, I was trying to figure out a way to do it. And I called Santita, and she put me in chill. Okay, right okay. fast, quicker than her. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> the humor of me, mm -hmm. the emotions of me, it got me. I understand what cancer can do for you. Yeah. I understand how cancer can destroy the body. He said all the right things. But then in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get a chance to talk to y'all. I called a future prophet. <laughs> and, and she put me in check, man of God. <laughs> nope, nope, you ain't getting no, nope, nope, you don't need no cash out. No, no, no. I said, well, what you got to do? You got to, she said, no, you don't need no, 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 no. I said, well, bless the Lord for the woman of God. <laughs> I went on about my business. Okay. What am I saying? The enemy will tip you 
would tempt you yeah. in yeah. all kind of ways. Yeah, yeah. 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 I even said that I must be a good steward over what God has appointed me yes, over. Yes. People work hard and they obey God yes. and they give their tithes and offerings. Yes. I am not authorized to give it away on a fling. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. 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 I was going to give him my own money. Oh. You wouldn't let me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 Supernatural God protected me even when you're vulnerable. Yeah. See, you can get me when you give me that sad story. Mm -hmm. My human nature is I feel very sorry for you. Mm -hmm. Now, 30 years ago, I didn't care whether you were sick, dead, <laughs> flipping, I told yeah. you, I told you, no! Yeah. And I'd have used another word! Yeah. Who? Do you think? <laughs> I'm going to finish that. You are. I ain't going to put that word in there. <laughs> what you say? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But now because I have the heart of the true and living God, I have compassion on those who are in need. But I have to be so careful with the wisdom of God not to be made a fool out of. Anthony, I mean, I mean, Deacon, 16, I'm saying, ooh, 2 Peter 1 through 19. Go ahead, start, and I'm going to pick it up. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Hold on. Simon Peter. <laughs> He's now who? An apostle for Jesus Christ. Yep. He was handpicked, appointed, yep. and anointed by God. Mm -hmm. And right here, he can get you straight. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man of God. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Okay, hold on. His divine power, number three, his divine power have, have been granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through knowledge of him who call us to his own glory and excellence. Yeah, he called us. Yeah, he called call, he called us. Mm -hmm. You caught it? Apostle, it said, he called us mm -hmm. to his excellent glory. Yeah, he called us to his glory. The problem is, is that people have appointed and called themselves. The Bible said, many are called. Yeah, but few come on. on this earth. And all of these preachers, and all of these prophets, and all of these teachers, and all of these apostles, and all of these elders, and all of these deacons, and all of these bishops, there's only 25% right. that God has called and set in place. There's only 25% that God has given permission to men of God to appoint. Yes, yes. Millions of people. But when you look in the well, on every street, there are 10 churches almost coming down the main That's street. Right. I said, God, why they show me in church? He said, because they, they don't want to listen to me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not itching either. When they find a true preacher mm -hmm. that I have anointed and appointed, uh -huh. they run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he is to provoke them to change to serve me. Yeah. And they don't want to My job. I keep telling you that, is to provoke you to change, mm -hmm. to serve him. Mm -hmm. Nobody the way the supernatural God can. On, Nobody on. can love you the way the supernatural God can. <laughs> Nobody can heal you the way the supernatural God. Nobody can grant, grant you favor 
favor yes. like the supernatural God. Yes. Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, 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 no, no, don't be looking around you. Come, run, run. Don't go, don't walk. I heard the word favor, 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 favor. Come here, come here, come here. Those desires belong to you now. Now, to receive the desires, mm. you're going to be tested. Oh, my God. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Ma, ma, ma. Jesus. But know this. Stand still mm -hmm. and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. I ain't gonna hit you. Stand still. Her eyes buck. Stand still. Stand still. And see the salvation. Ah. Ah, God. She, hey, God, mm, Jesus, Jesus, mm. blessings, Jesus, mm. Jesus, 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 blessings, Jesus, blessings, Jesus, Jesus, the desire of his heart. I feel your desires coming through the soul. Cause it to prosper, Cause it to prosper, Cause it to prosper, God. Cause it to prosper, God. Uh, uh, that place that you desire her to be, God. Eva, mm. she open doors that man cannot shut, God. And help her to know it's you, God. Help her to know it's you, God. I just, I just, I told y'all, don't, don't depend on me to go the way I got it up here. Depend on me. Go ahead, uh, uh, Adit. Adit. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Okay, hold on, hold on. For this very seed, the, the, uh, uh, for, you know, number five, for this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, mm. and virtue with knowledge, mm. and knowledge with self control. Mm and self-control with steadfastness, mm -hmm. and steadfastness with godliness, mm -hmm. and godliness with brother affection, mm -hmm. and brother affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, mm -hmm. keep you, they keep you from being what? In ineffective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if these qualities are not yours, you're not effective. You want to be effective. You don't want to be ineffective. In order to be effective, you got to obey the voice of God. Listen. Can I say something to y'all? No offense to nobody. Baptist preacher got us out of what we were in. I told y'all several years ago, there is a school that teaches you how to preach. How to hoop. You can't tell me, can't nobody. I get that I go. But that's not who I am. Baptist preaching. And the men of God back then and the women of God got us to where we're at today. My mother got me, prayed for me, kept me alive. Mm -hmm. If it hadn't have been for my mom and them, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here today. I know you right now. Some of them, my mom and them, Amen. couldn't read. But they knew how to call on Jesus. They couldn't read. But they said, Jesus, go see about my son. Go see about him, God. Go see about it. But they couldn't read. Yeah. 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 Amen. But they knew how to petition Jesus. 
to send the angels to keep death from coming upon me. If it had not been for Jesus, if it had not been for my mama, if it had not been for my mama and her friends, if it had not been for grandma and them, if it had not been for them, I wouldn't be here today. But God doing a new thing now. Yeah. And the new thing now is to provoke you to live holy for yourself. You gotta be for yourself. Amen. See, back then, you were still acting a fool. At least I was. But God was honoring my mommy and them because of their faithfulness. But they gone now. They gone now. So my job is to provoke you to live holy. For yourself. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Jesus. 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 Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. 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 That's powerful woman of God right there. Yes. 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 Go ahead. And, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Number nine. For whatever like, for who for whosoever like these qualities. Is so nearsighted that he is blind and have forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sins. If you like the qualities of self-control, of steadfastness, of brotherly affection, of brotherly love, of knowledge and virtue, if you like the qualities of that. But whosoever like these qualities is nearsighted, that he is blind, that having forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sin. Therefore, brethren, be all the more diligently calling for the election. For if you practice these qualities, huh? If you practice these qualities, if you practice these qualities, you would never fail. Mm -hmm. For there is a way. <laughs> Therefore, there is a way. For the way there will be richly provided for you and Interest into eternal, into the eternal kingdom of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, say what me, say therefore. Yeah. Therefore, I intend always to remind you of these qualities. It is my duty to remind you always of these qualities. Come on. Stay right there. Go with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone. Go with me to Genesis 28. We go to the eleventh verse, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down. I got permission to go ahead and read this. I'm gonna sit down. Somebody get probably on that. We're talking about when we're talking about this. We're talking about. Um, um, uh, Jacob was sent to labor. And what did I say, 11? Yeah. 11, okay. Okay. And he came to a certain place and stayed there that night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under the head and laid down in that place to sleep. 
I'm talking about Jacob now. I'm talking about Jacob. He's, he's going somewhere. But day has came to an end. So it's time to rest. So he laid down and he took a stone. You see, this is what a supernatural God does. You can sleep on a stone and don't even know it. He put his head on the stone to sleep. And, and the supernatural God makes it like a foam, a foam pillow. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Go ahead, say that. Go ahead, preach now. <laughs> come on, come on. We're doing a nobody, song. Nobody, nobody but God will allow you to preach to sleep when yeah. you're in a hard place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're in a hard place and you'll know up or down, left or right, and God will cause you to lay down and go to sleep. Go to sleep. In, peace. Get a hard in peace. In peace. In a hard place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come closer, man. Stay close. Stay close. Stay close. <laughs> no, I'm doing what God told me to do. Uh, 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 uh. It said, number 12 said, and he dreamed, and behold, there was a ladder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you got something to say? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Set upon the earth and on top mm -hmm. of it to reach heaven. And behold, mm -hmm. and behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am. I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. See, you see, you see. <laughs> <laughs> can I go there? Can, can, can I go there? And, and, and then I let her go there. I, I, I'm going to go there like this. In the book of Joshua, he said, wherever the sole of your foot tread on, it belongs to you. But in Genesis, he said, if you lie down, wherever you lie, it belongs to you and your offspring. Nobody can do that but the supernatural God. So you operated in the realm of a supernatural God. Yes. So lay down. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And, and, and you know, and you know what's good about that? Sometimes we 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 don't trust them and we don't believe. <laughs> when we're awake and we're wrestling, when we're awake, God said, Let me put them to sleep so I can talk to you. Because sometimes he can only talk to you when he puts you to sleep <laughs> in a dream. <laughs> Do I believe God? Do I don't believe God? Yeah. Do I trust God or, or do I trust man? What am I going to do? God said, let me put this child asleep and put him in a dream so I can talk to him. Right. That's a lot of times that's how he talked to us. Because we're too busy when we're awake. Yeah. All right. mm. yeah. Jesus. Number 14, he said, your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth. Uh -huh. mm. yes, 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 yes. And you shall spread a boy, a boy to the west and to the mm -hmm. east mm -hmm. and to the north and to the south. Mm -hmm. That means all over. All over. You're you know blessed what? when you come, you're blessed when you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> and you and your offspring <laughs> shall all your families of the earth be blessed. Mm -hmm. Say, so behold, yes. I am with you Jesus. and will keep you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wherever we go. I'm going to keep you wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. Wherever you go, I'm going to keep you. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. I don't care where them children go. He's a keeper. I don't care where that family member go. He's a keeper. Well, ho, I will keep you wherever you go. And will bring you back to this land. Yeah, For I will not leave you until you have done until I have done what I promised to you. You hear what the supernatural God said? I ain't gonna leave you until I do yeah. to what I promise. Yeah. That's why you're wrestling. Because yeah. he ain't gonna let you go until you obey him. Yeah. 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 
scripture. We've been studying about the children of Israel. How many years? 400 years. Well, wait a minute. I made them a promise. Yeah. I made them a promise. So I don't care what it looks like. Oh, oh, they done prophesied this to me. They done prophesied that to me. It's 10, 20 years later. If God said it, I know the whole shape. But first you got to check and make sure that prophecy didn't come with a condition. Because sometimes these prophecies come with conditions. And if you ain't met your end of the bargain, no, it's not going to come to pass. Uh, but if you met your end of the bargain, it's coming to pass. Because what did God say? I'm not a man that I should lie. I'm not the son of man that I should repent. If I said it. If I said it. So I believe God. I don't know about you all. But I believe God. Hallelujah. I believe him. He said I should have the best. He said I should have the best. Man may want to give me the less. But God say I have the best for you. So don't be sad. Don't be satisfied. Yes. If your spirit ain't satisfied, don't, don't you be satisfied. Yes. <laughs> then, oh, then, then Jacob awoke from oh, his God. sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. Yes, sir. Yes. Surely. <laughs> Surely the Lord is in this place. And I did not know it. <laughs> See the Lord right there with you, and you don't even know it. He He's right there holding on to you, and you don't even know it. He's holding on to you. He's making a way out of nowhere. And you wonder how you're getting where you're going. It's because he's right there with you. He's walking in front of you. And all you got to do is follow him in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless him, Lord. Bless him going in. Bless him going out in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. 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 I got to tell him this quick testimony. Wait, 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 wait. Show the Lord this place, sir. And he said, he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gates of heaven. So, so, so guess what? So early in the morning, Jacob, early in the morning, early in the morning, so early in the morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillow and poured oil on top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. Wow. The name of the place. They called the name of the place Bethel. 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 Hey, Bethel. hey, 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 it was a pure stone, but it poured all on it and made it an altar for God. Made it an altar for God. Yes, Wherever you at, and you see God move and make it an altar oh, for God. Yes. We, we were, I tell this a testimony often. We're in a, I'm in the car lot, and God is working. They telling me one price, and then I look on their little tablet because they can't find the, the, the information, and there's another price. $10,000 difference. My friend said, what are you doing? I'm going in this little break room. I'm getting me some cookies and some juice because I see God moving. And I'm going to sit down and get out the way and let God move. And, and we have to sit down and get out the way when we see God moving. And I sat down and I got out the way and let God move. Then to let the sales lady come get this little piece of paper all balled up. And she handed it to me. Talking about, hmm. I said, oh, this for me? Yeah. By the time I finish, I'm falling in. And I looked at it and I'm like, Oh, so y'all gonna give me the price. <laughs> they had to give me the price, ten thousand dollars. God made made them give me the price. Bought a vehicle, ten thousand dollars more. This nobody but God. You don't go on a lot and walk off without them saying, No, we can't sell you this. God made them sell me this because they made a mistake. Ten thousand dollars less. $10,000 less, and God did it. Yes. Nobody but God. That's a miracle in the past. We got miracles right here. Not right here now. Sitting right there, a miracle. Somebody on vacation and have not one stroke, two strokes. Another miracle. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Living. 2020. 2020. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 2020. Yes, sir. Right there, driving top of the line. He goes to the line. He goes to the line. He's satisfied with the basics. I know Dr. Mills said, I won't get no children. They ain't her to die. They're basic. But she won't say nothing. But God said something for her. 
He'll speak for you. He got to speak for you. He'll speak for you. He'll speak. And now, if you go out there, you got double sunroofs, leather, leaning and leaning and ganging and the gangs to lean. Did we have one? We have one. We have one. One testimony where the salesman say, "Listen." I'll pay for your insurance. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want this because this is too much because of the insurance. And the yes, salesman tells her, ma'am, open up the drawer and give her money. Ma'am, <laughs> here's the money for your insurance. And every month you come by this lot and I will pay your insurance. Yes. Nobody but God. You tell me God ain't a supernatural God. Okay. Nobody now, but now, God. Now, 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 let me throw this one at one. I, you, know, you, you know, where I'm going. Can I just give it? Mm. I get a text. Papa said, they done gave me a $3.97 raise. Okay. Oh, <laughs> didn't say they was going to give it. Didn't say they were going to give it. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, it. You know, it was a surprise to you, right? But it wasn't a surprise to God. Yeah. He already had it in the pipeline. Yeah. He had already done Fine. one supernatural thing for you. And he was just waiting to see if you were going to get over, get the big head because of the, of the first supernatural man. But then he said, okay, I can trust her. Let me move on up. Signs and wonders shall follow them. Close that. Close that. Signs and wonders don't preach, don't preach. Close shall follow them that believe. <laughs> Do you trust and believe? Yes. Amen. Do you trust and believe God? Yes. Thank you. Signs and wonders shall, Amen. not might, not maybe. They shall. They shall. Yes. But you got to believe. Yes. You got to trust and you got to believe. Yes. And I don't know about you today. Maybe you're having problems trusting and believing God. But I admonish you to trust and believe God. Perhaps there's someone that's watching today that you don't even know this God that we're talking about. Why are they so excited? I don't know what they're talking about. But we invite you to come and meet this God that we're talking about. There is no way that we would end this service without giving you an opportunity to meet and know this God that we're talking about. And you know what? He's not a respectable person. The same thing that he did for us, he would do it for you. He will do it for you. I believe it. I believe it. I'm a living witness. He'll do it for you. I tell the testimony all the time how I used to be. When I was in high school, I used to have lunch. You know how you have your lunch buddies? My lunch buddy, I wasn't saved, but my lunch buddy was the saved children. I would always eat lunch with the saved children because I saw what God was doing, yeah. and I was attracted to what God was doing in their lives. Yeah. And I wanted God to do that in my life, but I didn't know the steps. So I figured if I hang out with them, I'll learn the steps. And what God was doing for them, I felt like at that point in my life where I was, I felt like, oh, what he'll do for them, it'll rub off on me. Yeah. So, so, so no, there is something that you have to do. You have to accept the Lord as your personal Savior. It don't rub off on you. It's something that you have to do. You have to believe in your heart, and you have to confess with your mouth. And perhaps there is someone watching today that don't know the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We give you this opportunity. We give you the opportunity to now to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Or perhaps you just walked away. You just got distracted by the things and the cares of this world. And you got distracted. You got sidetracked. The enemy came in and threw you a left punch and you couldn't get up. Y'all know how it is when they're boxing. I was watching the Olympics the other night. The boxing and that guy gave him a left punch in the jaw and and the referee say no you can't go this is over with and you got punched by the enemy and you said this is it i throw in the towel i can't go back time for you to come back home it's time for you to come back in pray this prayer with me say lord jesus i come to you today because you said in your word that i must confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that you are the christ and you died, but on the third day, you rose again with all power in your hand. Lord Jesus, I come to you today and ask to you to forgive me, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you would come into my heart and save me. Lord, I ask that you would forgive me if I turned my back on you. I once knew you, and now I've turned my back on you. I ask that you would have mercy upon me. I ask that you would forgive me. Lord, I make you Lord of my life this day. Lord Jesus, I ask that you come in. You come in and you created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit and a steadfast spirit within me. I dedicate my life to you. Satan, you're no longer my daddy. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Father God, I thank you 
I honor you and I glorify you in Jesus name and I admonish you to get in the word I don't know find your Bible find you something that you could if I don't understand it go get one of the children's Bible it doesn't make you less of a person go get a Bible that you understand and you read your word you find your word church well give me something to read start in John Go to John and start in John and start reading John and, and read about how Jesus just loves you and how he came that you may have life and you may have it more abundantly. We thank you today on behalf of uh, Apostle Wooten and the staff and the leadership and the members here at Righteous Foundation. We thank you for joining us. We invite you to come back again on next Sunday. And um, we don't know about you, but we're serving God and we're serving him because we trust him and because we believe him. Amen. We thank you. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Amen. Amen.